New developments in the sexual assault trial of Bill Cosby in our midday newscast. We told you jurors told the judge they were deadlocked and the judge told them to go back and keep deliberating. Now both sides in the case are speaking out. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman is live in the newsroom with more. Lauren. Hi, Keith. After deliberating for about 30 hours, jurors told the judge they couldn't reach a verdict on any of the three counts against the 79 year old comedian. Judge Stephen O'Neill sent the jury back, directing them to keep trying to reach a unanimous decision. Now, the jury has been deliberating since Monday, passing a half dozen times to revisit evidence, including Cosby's decade old admission that he fondled Andrea Constant after giving her pills. Cosby's lawyers maintained Constant was a willing sexual partner. His publicist, or rather her, yeah, his publicist spoke earlier today. Mr. Cosby should not be here today. Should not have ever been here today. But we can't change that. He's here right now. He is uh, just happy to know that he has 12 people of his peers who understand uh, that the facts of this case don't add up. This is not a vindication of anybody, and it's not the end. It's not over until it's over, and it's not over yet. Gloria Allred represents about 33 women who have accused Bill Cosby of sexual assault. If there is a verdict, we will have updates on air and online on our news app as well.